you've raised $160 million in this new fund, and you've already made, in, in about a year, 17 or 18 That's investments. That's correct. Yep. How, how do you keep up a pace like that? Well, I, yeah, we have and to remember. VCs only make like one or two investments well, a year. I'm not your average VC. <laughs> I think at, at, at Google, I, when I was uh, running that, we were doing you know, 50 to 100 investments a year. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the pace of, you know, 15 to 17 a year feels somewhat uh, leisurely. And I also am drawing on a network of entrepreneurs and, and founders that I've known for quite some time. Cobalt is a great example. You know, my, my wife is a Cobalt musician, mm -hmm. uh, but Willard is also, who's the founder, is like family. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I've enjoyed working with him, and that was the first company I called when I set out to uh, start this fund. So when you look at new investments, potential investments, what are you seeing? Are you seeing a lot of good ideas? Are you seeing a lot of promise? Are you seeing high valuations? Definitely seeing high valuations. I'm seeing the, the market has changed tremendously in the last uh, five to ten years. I think it's uh, changing in a way where it may not change back. Uh, by that I mean uh, SoftBank is out there with an almost $100 billion fund which causes uh, a, a lot of strange behaviors uh, for startups. It, it compresses returns because valuations then go up somewhat uh, artificially. Uh, and I'm also seeing uh, changes w with regard to cryptocurrencies and, and uh, coin offerings that, that may uh, obsolete a large part of the venture business. Really? How so? When you're a founder and you can raise crowdsourced money uh, from a large group of people in a week, uh, that makes it a much less painful process sometimes than talking to people like myself uh, and going through the, uh, the analysis and the time that it takes to raise venture money. And that's a more attractive proposition to a lot of entrepreneurs and it's going to change the business. So how dramatically do you think this could impact Silicon Valley? Oh, I think that these technologies are likely to fundamentally shift. Uh, it, it won't obsolete everything, but it will fundamentally shift the way that that startups are funded over time and uh, the way a lot of transactions are handled. So what does it mean for the big VCs, the prominent VCs? I think if you are a large VC, prominent VC with a reputation and deal flow, uh, it, you'll have to adjust your business slightly, but I don't think it's uh, the bell isn't necessarily tolling right now. Um, but there are a lot of venture funds and a lot of people with capital and a lot of money uh, waiting to invest in startups and uh, that is going to change the way that we invest. So the bell is tolling for that? We'll see. Bitcoin, you've invested in Coinbase, and yet Jamie Dimon says Bitcoin is a fraud. Which one is it? Well, <laughs> Coinbase isn't a Bitcoin company. Coinbase is a platform on which people can trade cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin mm -hmm. being one of them. Uh, I think Jamie is likely incorrect in his assessment. I think there, there may be a bubble, there's money to be made and lost, but, uh, but it's a, I think if you take the value of all of those uh, startups, it's like a $70 billion industry. And if that's a bubble, it's not a very big bubble. Hmm. Uh, there's some enduring technology there that is likely to last, and so we disagree on that. 